Welcome, fellow Tarnished, to Dark Fantasy Games, a channel dedicated to Elden Ring and the Dark Fantasy genre. So, welcome to part 5 of my Elden Ring Let's Play. So, we just upgraded the Uchi Katana a little bit. I guess, really, we should go back to Limgrave and test it out a little bit, see how it fares. Okay, there should be a few enemies around here, so we can test out this sword on some of these. See how it fares. Okay, quite good against them. What about these demi humans down here? Oh, there's quite a few. Yeah, one shots on these. Come on, then, who wants it first? <laughs> Double whammy, baby. Come on, crazy. Let's go. Stance. Okay, don't seem too bad so far, you know. Quite a long blade. I don't know if the reach is a little bit better than the sword I was using before. Let's try this heavy guy. There's another mob. Oh yeah, nice. Double whammy. Okay, I mean, it's not doing too bad so far. These guys are quite easy, though, I think. The test will come when we're taking on something a little bit harder, I guess, but... There's a few more knights over there, but I think, while we're over the side, we should be able to get into that Cave of Knowledge from the beginning, where there's a shiny that you couldn't get to. Now we've got Torrent. We should be able to jump down. I think there's a way to get down onto the beach down here somewhere. Is there, like, a spirit spring? Yeah, there it is. Alright, cool. So I think there's a cave entrance along here somewhere that you can get into. Who's this guy here? He doesn't look very friendly, does he? Should go and say hi. Oh yeah, it's a little bit harder. Ash of War Gravitas. So Gravity Ash of War. That's not too bad, I think. It's half decent. Ash of War. Good against flying enemies. Yeah, here it is. So this is the Cave of Knowledge. And this is the shiny you see right at the beginning, when you first enter it, that you can't get to. Halle Drake Talisman. Just think that's lightning defense, isn't it? Oh, holy. Holy moly. Holy negation. Okay, I mean, that's not too bad. If we come across any enemies that are doing holy damage, then we can always put that on, I guess. Let's just have another quick check around here, make sure we're not missing anything else. Is there any little secrets around this side? I've got to really be careful, because... Nope. Poof. He's not going to make that jump there. It's too far. But we can get around that side from up top anyway, if we needed to, but... It doesn't realize there's anything on that ledge. Oh, I've got a crab down here. These are quite difficult, aren't they? I think. 
Let's uh, get potioned up before we try this crab. Got a potion refill as well. Good job. Is that a tumbleweed? There's never anything in the tumbleweeds. Okay, it doesn't really seem to be anything else down here. We'll take the smoldering butterflies though. Anything tucked into a nook or cranny around here anywhere? Let's not get too close to the edge here, but there might be something around the side here, maybe? No. Would have been a good place for them to hide something. It's usually the sort of place where they tuck something away, but not in this instance. Are you going to get me all the way up? Yeah. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> cool. I've got a few runes out of that. Not enough for a level, though, but... Do we think we're ready for Dragon a Gil? Hmm. I don't know. Arse! Oh, okay, where do you boys just all come from? No. Right. Can't get off my Ash of War. Ah, uh, this is too quick. Stupid dogs. Hate them. Bane of my life. I like, just can't get it off. Getting wrecked here. You absolute pains in the backside. No walkies for you. Bad doggy. Yeah. Talking about the flaming dragon of Giel. Those are worshippers. Come on, you dirty rat. Oh, that was worth stopping off for. That was worth getting a little bit frustrated by some doggies. These guys don't really seem to do a lot, I get. The one with the torch wheel. I can hear another dog. Not this time, doggo. So this is where the trap is down here. It's a teleportation trap that we can use to get to Kaelid. Not going to use it this time though. Oh, miss! That missed. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh, okay. I didn't want to do that, but either way. We got our flask, a little bit of our flask back. I think really the only benefit I can see to us at this stage going across to Kaelid into that area this early on in the game would potentially be to go and get the rot dog summon, which is like one of the dogs that you find in Kaelid that do Scarlet Rot damage and it's really really good against the Tree Sentinel so when we go off to fight the Tree Sentinel we'll make sure we go and grab that first because if it bites the Tree Sentinel enough times before the Tree Sentinel kills it once that Scarlet Rot's took hold it's pretty much game over for the Tree Sentinel so all you gotta do then is just stay alive long enough for him to die from it Oh, 
Well, there is a stake of Marika nearby here. So, if we was to do Dragon of Gale and die, then we could always respawn. But, because we've used some of our flasks, I think we should just... Just very quickly go across to this side, Grace. That's not the one. This one here. How much do we need for a level? Let's just check real quick. 3 9. Yeah, I don't know if I've got that in runes from what we found. Might have. Yeah, we should do that. We got another level in. Okay, got a bit of extra health now. Okay. Let's just go and see if we can take down Dragon Agil. If we find it's maybe a bit too difficult, then we'll just bug out and come back and do it later when we've leveled a bit more. I think for this we should maybe put our helmet back on. Also, um, got a couple of these which temporarily boost physical attack. So yeah, let's eat one of these, get the boost, and the dragon should be coming in any minute now. Totally missing all these attacks on his legs. It's really difficult. I'm gonna get that blood build up, that blood loss build up from the sword. He's gonna use his tail. Move. With his flame attack. Jellyfish, because he's floating, will usually avoid all that. Oh, I'm getting stuck on the tree there. Come on, he's going to use this. You're going to use your flame attack? No. Nope. Stamp. time. Don't go up on there because you get glitched. Come on down, baby. There we go. Boy. Good job, jellyfish. Thank you. Did good. Alright, so we got a few runes from that too. And the draconic power, or whatever you call it, we can use that once we've got a finger seal. Go and buy some of them at the Church of the Dragon Communion. Are they saying that we still need to go and get a uh, finger seal? We still need to buy one. We need a bow as well.
I think now we've got our vigor up to 25, we're going to start putting into strength again. Okay. So really, in this area, the only thing we've got left really to do, in boss-wise, I think, is the tree sentinel and then the two things down on the coast. The two bosses down on the coast. I don't know if those bosses down on the coast are going to be too difficult or not. We might go and try that. Turn up a few loose ends in this area. So if we head back up to... When we first start the game, there is actually a spirit spring we can jump down to to be able to get onto that beach that will take us to that cave. That's where we'll find Bok. That was the hint he gave us. Avoid the tree sentinel for now. He's the last one we're going to do in this area, I think. I'm not sure if you can get down onto the beach from down here actually. There might be a way down here. There's the Church of the Dragon Communion over there, which we can go through once we beat the boss below now. It's pretty much below us. Yeah, I don't know if there is. Uh... This looks to go down here, so there might be a way to be able to jump down yeah, onto these rocks here. So another set of rocks we can jump down on. We can jump down onto this, I think. Okay, cool. There's a trade win here, actually. What do you need? He sells a bow, actually. Just want a bow, mate. Really. Land squirts. Stone digger trolls, knowledge. Uh, we definitely want some of these. How much money we got left? Not enough. Well, we've got one in case we really, really got into trouble with poison. It's better than nothing. I do want to take the. Don't dig a troll note. Just. Have a quick read of that note. The heads of stone digger trolls bear old wounds, that's it. <sighs> I did know it. It's only 400 runes, so it's not like it's the end of the world. So, basically what we can do is, if you shoot a stone digger troll in the head, it kind of stumbles them for a while. So they're quite difficult enemies to take on, but once you down them, not too bad. Okay, this is where we should find Bok now. In the coastal cave, that's what it's called. yet to be seen, Bok. Yet to be seen, mate. Let's, um, let's get in here and see if we can take these two annoying bosses down. I think there's a couple down here that are going to ambush us, yeah. does miss sometimes. 
You've got to be facing the right way for it to work on the... I'm sure before there was a summon there when I did these bosses before. I think this just leads us up to where we drop down actually, but I want to double check I haven't missed anything down here real quick. Yeah, I ain't missed anything. Okay. Here's the summon. Old Knight Istvan. Let's get him in. There's two bosses and there's two of us. So, you know, that sounds fair to me. We'll do the jellyfish as well. Here's one of the bosses is asleep. His poise is not being changed by Flame of the Red Mains, so... Now it is. That's one down. There we go. Oof! That's a fair bit of damage there, man. Oh, you got lucky, pal. Good job, boys. Good job. So now, rather than travelling back to the start of the cave, if we just go through this way, this will lead, lead us to the Church of the Dragon Communion. There should be a side grace there that we can hit up and use it to fast travel at a later time. Here's a side of grace. Let's just go and have a quick nosy, shall we? Oh, actually thinking about it, I think this only works at night. No, it used to. Yeah, so all these need scaling in faith and arcane. So, you know, this character class I got here at the moment is not got anything really in faith or arcane. So, if, kind of probably more of a sorcery type build to use those. I mean, we could get our sorceries levels up in Arcane and Faith or whatever, but I just don't think at this point it's worth it. We're still continuing with a kind of melee strength build to a certain extent. But I think that's a good time for us to end this episode. And we'll continue doing a bit of adventuring in the next episode and hopefully work our way up to be able to take on the Tree Sentinel before then maybe either moving into part of Kaelid to maybe farm some runes or we'll head up to the castle try and take on Margaret the Fell Omen and then hopefully into Stormville Castle. So if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Watch this space for more Elden Ring. And before I go, I'd just like to say may you be blessed with a curseless journey.